came to see Santa today, and not all of them were well behaved. Today I witnessed fist fights, vomiting, and magnificent tantrums. <laughs> the back hallway was jammed with people. There was a line for Santa, and a line for the women's bathroom. And one woman, after asking me a thousand questions, asked, um, which way to the women's bathroom? And I shouted, well, maybe it's the one with all the women standing in it. <laughs> and she turned to me and said, I'm going to have you fired. I had two people say that to me today. <laughs> I'm going to have you fired. Go ahead, be my guest. I wear a green costume. It doesn't get any worse than this. Who do these people think they are? I'm going to have you fired. Huh? All I want to say to them is, I'm going to have you killed. <laughs> <laughs> this morning, a woman was standing at one of the cash registers, paying for her pictures while her son, lying beneath her, kicking and heaving and having a tantrum. <laughs> And she said to him, Now, Riley, if you don't start behaving yourself, Santa's not going to bring you any of those toys you asked for. And he said to her, He is too going to bring me those toys. Liar. <laughs> he already told me. And the woman grabbed my arm and said, Hey, you there, elf. <laughs> Why don't you tell Riley here that if he doesn't start behaving himself, Santa's going to bring him coal for Christmas. I said, Santa doesn't actually traffic in coal anymore. Instead, he comes to your house and steals all your toys and electrical appliances. <laughs> and the woman got a worried look on her face and said, OK, I think that's enough. And I said, he'll come to your house and steal all your sheets and blankets and toys and leave you with nothing. Whoa, whoa. And the woman said, no, really, that's enough. Thank you.